All right, this is the perfect time of the year to go on a hunt for the perfect haunt. Yeah, we found a haunted attraction outside of Cranberry that the whole family can enjoy. At Zombies of the Corn, a zombie apocalypse has arrived in Pittsburgh. That's what it's called, too. And they need your help to protect our city. But it's not just zombies you encounter there. You'll see witches and clowns and even evil gnomes. Yes, Daisy Jade stopped by Zombies of the Corn to show us what is there. And she may have walked away with a new gig for Halloween. I mean, take a look. Hey everyone, well as you know, Halloween is right around the corner. If you're like me, you like to enjoy the spooky season by visiting as many haunted attractions as you can. So we visited Zombies of the Corn. I'm here with Deborah, who is the co-owner here. Deborah, I love this place because there are so many things in one spot that are all family friendly attractions, really. Yeah, we've got a lot of attractions here. Yeah. And we say we have fright levels for all ages. So mm -hmm. not the little tiny ones, those, the toddlers and things, they need to go to a pumpkin patch. Yeah. But we've got from five and up, we really have got some great attractions. The big one is the zombie chute, okay. which you get on the wagon and a tractor pulls you through the woods. Um, it's about a 15 minute ride and you get to shoot live target zombies that can't shoot back. Oh, so okay. that's, yeah. everyone loves that. Yeah, that's perfect because then you don't have to worry about getting dirty or that's getting right. shot out, but you could still have the excitement of, you know, killing all the zombies in the zombie Absolutely. apocalypse. Yeah, <laughs> it's big fun. Yeah. And then you can go right from there into, we have the fun center, which okay. is all clowns. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I mean, don't know if I'll like that I one. I know, it's so funny because <laughs> people, even if they're a little skittish with clowns, they yeah. love that that event to yeah. that attraction and then you can move into the compound and that is where we have all the gotchas oh know? I mean, all I the think, scares okay yeah i think 12 years ago when we first started i don't think we realized that people really wanted to get Oh, some yeah. Jolts, you know? oh yeah so they get all that in the compound and then the z maze is only rated two and okay. that's for more the younger all ages really can enjoy that and that's friendly startles okay so i like that we've got that space as well yeah and then there's storytelling and face painting and so there's things really for for all different ages i love that and where we are right now is considered salem right so it kind of has a, a witchy theme oh you yeah. bet yeah <laughs> this is our newest uh, attraction okay. and it's salem and it's a hocus pocus theme oh. and the and people are just really loving it yeah it's well, a lot of fun it looks fantastic here i know one of the things that i've always wanted to do was be a part of a haunted attraction there's no place like zombies of the corn <laughs> <laughs> so she didn't make it out? I don't know. It looks like she vanished into thin air. I mean, we were joking before about her not making out, and she's... Hopefully, we will see Daisy again soon. Zombies of the Corn <laughs> is open on weekends through November 2nd, and maybe, it looks like a lot of fun. Maybe that's where you'll find her. For more yes. information, visit our website, pittsburghtodaylive.com. We'll have the link for you there.